What's up guys, this is Boondocks, and today I want to talk about a new build I've recently been running for Ash, where it's focusing on melee without the use of the Naramon focus tree, as well as being very tanky, allowing you to survive solo against high damage enemies around level 135 to 150 without having any real backup. Now this is going to make use of the brand new syndicate mod called Fatal Teleport, which will allow you to quickly eliminate high damage targets such as Corrupted Heavy Gunners and then fall back to destroy weaker enemies such as Corrupted Lancers and Corrupted Butchers through just your general melee damage. So right away I'm going to try to target and remove as many Corrupted Heavy Gunners as possible considering the fact that, well, they can kind of delete you if you're not careful. So one of the primary things here too is the way this build is set up you want to be blocking as much damage as possible so constantly have your right trigger held down so that way you're uh, going to be having your sword up to block as much incoming damage as possible and then health gate through any damage that you do take using life strike okay that was not good that grenade thing went off right on top of me but overall as you can see even with that grenade going off on top of me I didn't die and that's part of the power of the tank build. I'm able to withstand a lot of damage coming out from these enemies and then heal myself back up thanks to life strike. And there we go. Just cleared a field of level 135s pretty damn quick without having to fall back on Bladestorm, which in all honesty is probably one of the most boring abilities in the game. Sure it does a lot of damage and can kill a lot of enemies, but holy crap is it boring. So how did I build my character? Well, obviously, since this is going to be a melee build, I'm going to focus on Steel Charge, of course, as my aura, followed by using Rage, Steel Fiber, Armored Agility, and Vitality for tankiness. Now, you might be wondering, how is Rage tanky? Well, each time you deflect damage while blocking, and each time you use Life Strike, you're going to be draining some energy. Well, Rage is going to return that energy, so it becomes kind of a cycle as long as you're health gating using Life Strike. So the idea here is you take some damage to gain back the energy which you then spend in order to steal health as well as deflect more damage. Additionally, Ash has a ridiculous amount of health to begin with, so Vitality really pushes him up over the edge to 1110. By combining both my Steel Fiber and Armored Agility, I get over a times 2 multiplier when combining these two, so that really brings my total health over 2,220, not including the shields, which in all honesty I don't, because it's actually more beneficial for you to have your shields drained all the time, so that way you're gaining constant benefit from rage. And that's kind of what happens anyway. I am going to put on a prime continuity, just so that way I'd be able to spam my teleport more often, as well as if I need to go invisible to, say, escape and get some safety or just use my invisibility to stun enemies and then heal up, this will give me a little bit more time. Finally, I'm going to use Streamline and Prime Flow, so that way I have more of a pool for using Teleport, as well as a larger pool for using things like Life Strike, as well as my deflecting of damage. Finally, the last mod that's actually important, because Ice Spring isn't, the last mod that's important is the fatal teleport. So as you can see here, this is going to make it so that teleport automatically performs a finisher doing 200% extra damage on top of the finisher, which is already, I think with a single sword, 1600% increased damage. So yeah, that starts getting ridiculous. And in addition, it's going to refund an additional 50% energy if the enemy dies. So that's going to allow you to actually chain teleports back to back to back and kill everything. As far as how I'm going to build my Broken War, well, first, the reason I'm going to be using a Broken War is important. I personally find that the finisher attacks on single swords are probably some of the fastest and most fluid to go through. And one of the cool things with Crimson Dervish, if you're using your blocking combo, when you finish it, you're going to automatically activate a finisher gaining that ridiculous increase in damage, allowing you to finish off the enemy. And since you're going to be gaining back your constant energy thanks to Rage, using your blocks all the time won't negatively affect you. 
and it makes pulling off those finishers very easy, which is also why I'm going to add on a finishing touch. While 60% might not seem all that much, and you might think, why not use a Molten at 90? Well, the finishing touch doesn't increase your base damage here, it increases your total damage from the finisher multiplier, which is 1600%. So, yeah, quite considerable at that point. Finally, we're going to be looking at the rest of the mods, which are kind of straightforward. I mean, I'm going to be using the Fever Strike and Shocking Touch to get my corrosive damage, considering I'm going up against Corrupted right now. Berserker, along with my crit mods in the form of Organ Shatter and True Steel, and Pressure Point because, obviously. Finally, I am going to be using Life Strike. I am going to keep this at the 20% Life Steal instead of using the weaker version like you typically would want to use. And the reason for this is I need as much health as possible and I'm going to be gaining back so much energy at any given time that I'm not too concerned about the amount that this is going to drain. So that's pretty much it as far as the mods are concerned. And one interesting thing is you can run a very slimmed down version of this if you don't have the catalyst and basically as you can see I am remaining with 31 energy left which means I don't need a catalyst to run this so I am going to be using a slightly weaker vitality no armored agility but a steel fiber fatal teleport still along with flow and rage now this won't really be as effective against enemies up at level 135 but still enemies at level 80 or so they will fall before you like none other all the same and in all honesty this would be great if ash was a little bit more accessible if you were able to pick him up um during the recent events when he was available what was that thousand cuts i believe it was then he could be a very good frame for beginners thanks to being extremely tanky with the right build as you can see here now rage can get a little costly and then maybe berserk and the new mods since i'm sure the market is not going to be flooded with them like some of the older mods uh you could probably pick them up for about 10 to 12 uh platinum by new mod i mean the fatal teleport so definitely try to pick that up if you can and try this build out because it is a lot of fun anyways guys until next time like comment and subscribe and peace